Kings Island is uh, disappearing in the rear view mirror. I've uh, just reset the sails a little bit, uh, a better uh, point of uh, sail that we're at. And that's got us up to seven knots, which is quite nice. We were only doing about six before. So, yeah, it does pay to set the sails properly. Not quite sure how much the wind is, but I think we're up to between 15 and 20 knots now. We've still got two reefs in the main, uh, so that's good for 25 knots at least. So. So, we're here in Long Island, just off Gordon's, as it's called. And, I think uh, Gordon's gym here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've done 149 miles for the month, 53.6654 for cash uh, for the day. And in terms of the maximum speed, we managed, I did see 10 or something, or now 9.7, that was right, 9.7. And of course we're still with no wind. I think we had about 25, between 25 and maybe 30 at one stage. We had three reefs in, uh, no, we had two reefs in most of the day. We started off with three and I shoot one out almost immediately. And then we ended up with uh, one for a long time. And then a squall came through and I quickly put a second one back in again. Two of us, and then there were four.
find out what's occurring. Today. Course speak. It's course speak. <laughs> Fabulously course speak. <sighs> Bahamian waters don't lie. For sure don't lie. Drive it up. Yep. So yes, here we go. Bye bye, Happy Gordon's. Friday, 10th of May 2024. Well, it's a beautiful day to be on the water. Sadly, we haven't quite got enough wind. I'm not sure how much we've got. A little less than 10 knots, I think. Hard to, to judge without uh, any wind instruments. Long Island is away over there in the distance. Approaching our destination, probably another about four and a half, five miles to go. Another hour, hour and a bit at this three and a half minute speed. This video will be motoring a lot today. Uh, we did start off sailing and um, we were sailing nicely at sort of three knots. Oh, there's a big bummy there, wow. to five and we're in this amazing spot called Dollar Harbour. There's a pretty narrow neck uh, and this guy is trying to follow us in. It looks like he might have got stuck. It's very easy to get stuck. We had the uh, depth gauge right down to zero several times on the way in. It's really rather nerve-wracking and he looks like he stopped or is turning around. But anyway, it's a desolate little place, very narrow, so the water rushes in and out as the tide changes. The tide's on the way in now. I hope the anchor will hold when it rushes back out again, because there must be an awful lot of water all the way up here. Here we are. We've done 179.784 uh, cash uh, for the month, 
we did 30, 30 and a half today. I've got a bit more to do tomorrow, so we really need to get going uh, pretty early. In terms of the maximum and minimum, it doesn't really matter because we've got no wind instruments, so I've no idea how much wind we had, but I would think less than 10 knots pretty much all day. We did 5.6 knots, and that was really right at the end. We had both engines running for a while uh, as we approached this uh, this neck, and then we slowed right down. We were crawling in with Sander peering over the front, trying to uh, act as a advanced warning depth sounder because our depth sounder only tells us what the depth is below us not what the depth is in front but that stage by the time you you know get there it can be too late well it's saturday morning and there's really not a breath of wind and the peace is amazing it's just really not a sound the other two yachts are still here There's nothing. That's me. Okay, so we're on the move again, gently. It's deep enough here, but there's a shallow bank. And I'm going to make out just uh, over Sandra's head. Just inch away over that. We're a couple of hours past low tide, as far as I can gather. The tide is definitely on the way in. See it flowing past the yacht. Uh, the guy in front of us, who was part, uh, the goon that was parked in front of us, uh, looks like he's stopped just about inching over that sandbar where it's really shallow, understandably. And the other guy is still out there. So just take it easy, we'll follow him out gently. Don't waste too much time, but uh, now we're approaching the second uh, shallow bit where. Death sounder got down to zero yesterday on the way in. Uh, we're a little bit further to the west than we were uh, coming in. Uh, the indications that we had were to keep well to the east, off to the left as we look at it now uh, on the way in. Uh, and we did that, but it got very shallow. Uh, and looking at the water now, where the light is better with the sun coming up, it seems to me that the water is deeper out here. So we're going to stick with this centre bit where it indicates there's a shoal. But we've got four meters, 4.4 meters, so that's all right. Now this is a weird place. I can't even see land. It's over there somewhere. I see an island way, way up there. But I can't see land essentially. And it's only four meters deep. Crazy, crazy. It's still four meters deep, give or take everywhere around here. Some of it shallower, some of it slightly deeper, but it's weird. Good morning! Today is Saturday the 11th of May 2024 and Captain has just decided to hop off the boat because water is so crystal clear. He could not resist it. Correct Captain, what's up? Well, it's a hot day, we're just having a little cool down in the water. Yeah, this is the surroundings. There's nothing there. There's nobody there. Just us enjoying the private ocean. Yeah, there's one of the starfish. It's just about all we see here. It's amazing. The water is so crystal clear. You can see to the bottom, but it is only four meters. Between three and a half and four meters. And there's absolutely nothing here. There's, there's virtually no life, which is a bit odd, a bit sad. There are bummies every now and again with corals and feather corals and so on. There's another starfish there. And, um, and that's about it. We saw a barracuda earlier this morning, just this morning. What was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday. And uh, we saw a ray jumping as we came out of Dollar Harbour. But that's just about it. We did pass some fishermen uh, at the last waypoint. Uh, so there must be some fish somewhere. But I guess they know where they are. These places are too open, not enough protection, nothing to nothing to attract the, uh, the fish, I guess. Hello everybody, today's Saturday the 11th of Right to the bottom of the, of the water. 
starfish. Starfish, you can see the starfish crystal clear. Well, thankfully we're now in the channel. sandbank that you can see out here, cut the corner and perhaps I bit off a bit more than I should have done, it got really, got really tense, uh, went down to zero. We do have a, have a built-in buffer, I uh, put zero at, at 30 centimetres so that means there will be 30 centimetres of water below the hull but the problem is that when you get down into that 30 centimetres you don't know how far you're into it whether you're just touching it or whether you're right using the whole of your 30 centimetres because the depth sounder doesn't go below zero it only goes down to zero and stops so that was quite nervy and having used the zero stop yesterday and again today I'm not sure I'm going to have to Salt pond. Um, <coughs> it's a bit of a sleepy hollow, I think. There's at least one other yacht, Luna, along there, and then another yacht here, which may be a visiting yacht. Although it's not obviously visiting. Pretty shallow here. I hope we've left enough room under the keel. Uh, there's 0.3 on top of that, so that's half a meter under the keel and we're close to low tide now, close to low tide so I don't think we'll go down much more uh, distances we've done 217 for the month and 37 for the day uh, wind, well we haven't got any instruments and speed we did about 4.5 knots because we were watering the whole day we didn't even attempt to sail there's more of a breeze now than there was all day but anyway, it is what it is bye for now <laughs>